welcome to the Red Door Cafe, and this is a series of the One Liner Diner, part of Ben South's The Southern Humor Highway, brought to you by Red Door Cafe in Cullman. Our focus today is on Pat Buttram, and we have Shirley Suddeth with us today from Addison, which was Pat's hometown. Mm -hmm. Shirley, thank mm -hmm. you for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you for inviting me. Let me start, Shirley, to begin with. Okay. What is your interest in Pat Buttram? I became acquainted with the family years ago and became quite good friends with them. And uh, knowing that Pat was born and raised there in Addison, it bothered his family that Addison never honored him. And. So several years ago when I became president of the Civitan Club in Addison, we needed some type of fundraiser to raise funds for the projects we wanted to do. And I suggested we have a festival and call it the Pat Buttram Day Festival. Well, all the club members agreed that was a good idea. And I said, well, we must first ask the family if we can do that. So I called Pat's brother, Mr. Gus, and asked him, and he was very thrilled at the idea of us doing that. And we always have members of the Pat Buttram Day, um, Pat Buttram Day Festival. There's always Buttram family members there, and they'll tell funny stories about Pat as well. Pat was born on June 19, 1915, in Addison, Alabama. His daddy was a Methodist minister there and pastored the Methodist church there in Addison. And Pat uh, grew up and went to college in Birmingham at Birmingham Southern, uh, which is Judson College now. And he was in a play there and uh, there was a talent scout in the audience which Pat did not realize was there but anyway he discovered Pat and Pat uh, he first took Pat to the uh, National Barn Dance, and Pat was on that National Barn Dance for several years, and that's where he met Roy Rogers and Gene Autry. And he first started playing with Roy Rogers, uh, and then later, Roy already had two sidekicks, so later he dropped Pat, and Gene Autry picked him up. You're humming them song. Why it picks and, uh, and he went by his own name, Pat Buttram, in the movies as well. And then later, in, uh, he was Mr. Haney on Green Acres and Petticoat Junction. If they were in the house when I bought it, they belonged to me. Did you read your bill of sale? I did. All it said was, I sold you a house, and that's what you got, a house. <laughs> Lisa, uh, no. I'll see you around. He also did voiceover work for he did. Disney's, is that he, right? he was the voice on most all the Disney movies. Friar Tuck, the old do-gooder, he's out doing good again. Hey, let's charge. <coughs> Wait a minute, I'm the leader. I'm the one that says when we go. Here we go. Charge! Let's talk about Pat's voice because it's very distinctive. Mm -hmm. And of course you've met Pat. Is that his real voice? No. Uh, he could make himself talk that way <laughs> without any problem at all. In fact, sometimes just in general conversation, he would start doing that, not even realizing that he was doing that. Uh -huh. But his mannerisms and the way he acted was that was just pat that was the way he was in everyday life that that wasn't put on Probably one thing most people don't realize is that the very that very beautiful lady that played with him and gene in the movies usually she had her hair braided and rode a horse was pat's wife really she okay. was pat's wife in real life pat and gene were more than just uh, actors in a movie together. They were very best friends. Uh, Gene's wife told me that 
they called each other every day as long as they lived and that they were really closer than most brothers are. And in later years, Pat was diagnosed with cancer, had surgery, and was able to live several more years. Like I said earlier, he came back here and built a house and lived here. Then uh, he decided he was strong enough to go back to Hollywood and make more movies. And he, he did go back and made four more movies okay. before he died. Okay. And uh, to wrap things up, Shirley, tell us about the Pat Putnam Day in Addison. When is it each year? It's always the second Saturday in October. Okay. And so we've got one coming up. We have one coming up very shortly. And Ebb, who played with Pat on Green Acres and Petticoat Junction, will be there uh, for the second time this year as my guest. And we will have uh, several different bands there as well. We have all kinds of games for the kids to play. We have the Pat Buttram photo gallery there. We show the Pat Buttram movies all day long. And everything is free except the food that we sell and the spaces we rent for vendors. Everything else is free. Sounds good to me. We'll see you the second Saturday in October. Great. Be All looking right. forward to Thank it. Thank you, Shirley. Mm -hmm. And that's another stop on the Southern Humor Highway brought to you by Red Door Cafe.